Today's video is one that a lot of you fans have been waiting for for a while. I've got a pile of comments about this thing. The Ford Bronco. Today's its day. We're gonna drag it out of here, put it in the shop, and make it run and drive. Get it back to the owner. You guys have all wanted to buy it from me. It's not mine, I can't sell it. I am gonna make it run today. First things first, the wood splitter has got to get out of the way. Let's pick it up, move it out of the way for a minute, and drag this thing out of here. Shoving this thing in the shop. We'll work on it, Let's see if we can make it run. All right, here's under the hood of this old Jewel. I've done some work to this thing in the past. I put this motor in it. It's out of like a 91 Crown Vic. It's a roller motor, 302. It run pretty good. We put this uh, Holly Sniper on it and it was working really good and then he got mice in here and they gnawed wires all over. We've got zero computer pulse, it's dead. So the game plan is he decided he just wanted us to throw a carburetor back on this thing and make it run. We're gonna carburetor back up, put an Edelbrock on it, and make things happy and running today. That's the goal. There's not a nest in that, I hope. You never know with these dang little mice. This is great, a mouse house. See all those little baby mice? Now I gotta clean this motor out again. We're gonna gut this all out of there. See, they that got fixed, but the damage was done. It had already shorted things out and fried the computer. Edelbrock. 650 or 600? 1400. 1400, is that a? That might be a big one. That is a big one, what's that other one? We don't wanna drown this thing, we need a 600. We'll give you the grand tour of a Ford Bronco. So some are might thinking, she's an automatic, but no. This is the four wheel drive shifter. This is the three speed shifter right here. She's pretty clean. And uh, let me tell you again, not for sale. He has two of these and he loves them, he's restoring them. I've put disc brakes all the way around on this one on my last adventure, put this motor in it. Now we're gonna take the fuel injection off, carburate it. We'll be out ripping this thing before you know it today. I hope, let's check that. Hey, there's black stuff and not water. Last time I got this, it was clear full of water. I had to put a motor in it, so. All right, we got a few hurdles to tackle today. So right now we have uh, inlet and a return line for fuel and uh, we're not gonna need that with the pump we're currently gonna run, I guess. And then we gotta take this relay as part of the old wiring harness. So we gotta find a relay and wire it to run the fuel pump. And then I think we're right up down. I'll get the carburetor yanked off of here and, or the throttle body and put a carb on it. This carburetor, we don't know much about it. We know that it was on the giveaway car not very long ago. Yeah. Didn't run very good. So we're gonna hurry and pull it apart, clean it, make sure everything's happy inside, and then get her mounted on this Ford. So I Ben is tearing this carburetor apart, cleaning it. I'm gonna go try to find a relay. We're still not 100% moved into the shop. All of my electrical stuff is still in the container. So I'm gonna walk up there and dig through that, see if I can find a relay. All right, for all you guys that were wondering where my Elkhorns are, they're stashed right there. Don't worry, we're putting them back in the shop. I just don't know where yet. I gotta figure out, that toolbox is Landon's, so it's going back in the shop as is. Randall, he's claimed this one. This is a toolbox that my mom and dad gave me when I was like, I don't know, 15 or something. So, pretty hard to get rid of that one, but all the stuff's gotta come out of it. All right, back to the task. Relays. I have not found my relay but I did find this. Plugs up the O2 sensor hole. So now I'm gonna go look elsewhere. All right, we're gonna go upstairs now and see if our organization has paid off. See if I can walk right to. You would think I just put it up here the other day, so you'd think I'd know where it is. Ah. All right, so I'm not finding what I need, so we're gonna have to find one of those. All right, he's got this thing gutted. That's dirty. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. Stuff in oh, the yeah. jet. Yeah, I wonder why that didn't run very good. Yeah, no wonder. So we'll get it cleaned up and uh, put back together, and this thing will be running in no time. Floats actually look decent. Yeah. Like as far as they seal. You look down, and uh, they're even at least. Does it have off roads in it? No, it doesn't. No. But hey, 
the carburetor. Safety first. Yeah, that stuff will hurt. That other stuff's like eye cleaner, basically. <sighs> Map gets wide over here. You're running out. Well, I got lots of it, but all this pipe seems to be blocking it. How's that for light? Yeah, I can see now. Fixed it. I'm a fixer. That's what I do. I'm taking all the bolts out of this for you. No oh, thanks. Um, that's, I'm a kind brother like that. Yeah. Testing your memory. How this all went. Can't be that hard. It's just a carburetor. Well, if you guys were hoping to see Michelle, you're not going to see her today. It's not funny, but it is funny because she's probably got half of her face, feels like it's all drooped down. and You won't see her in this video, but she'll probably edit it still. This is a trip no one wants to take. Headed to St. George to get a root canal. I couldn't be more excited. We could go get Does that some. have a brake booster on it? Negative. Negative? Okay, so we'll leave the plug in. So if you don't take these out, you end up hosing yourself. So they got these little filters on them. You can't see that. I don't know if you can see down in there, but there's all kinds of junk down in there. I think we'll make a shift to the solvent thing. Alright, I'll take this load over and start scrubbing. So I don't know if I've told you guys before, but I used this in high school. It was in the, in the high school shop class shop room and I uh, bought it at an auction for 25 bucks. Pretty good deal. All right. One piece down. All right. I'm here. There's a sweet truck next to me too. Wish me luck. I bought me a new uh, fish electric fish fillet knife the other day. It's a Bubba and they sent this with it. So I'm currently testing out this Bubba knife and see if it's Good for mechanic and as well as fishing. Tell us in the comments if you guys know anything about this knife. I know nothing about it, but I'm gonna use it. Sharp right now. <laughs> you cut yourself now. Yeah. All right, now let's put the pieces back together. Oh, I gotta clean that off. That's pretty clean, really. It'll work. It'll work just Yeah, that thing will. She'll fire up and do gnarly burnouts. I doubt <laughs> it, but. No, it's going to. Bones is Broncos are doing now. About the time we do a reverse to forward, the drive line's gonna come out and kiss everything underneath <laughs> of it. And then it'll be like, whoops. We weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> be like, uh, Bones, we gotta get a drive line built and uh, possibly transmission work. Those rats were hard on stuff. I don't know how it happened. They hate that thing up. <laughs> they chewed your whole drive line in half. It's the craziest thing ever. You wouldn't understand it was fab rats that did it. Oh, still a rat. <laughs> still a rat. Okay, this one you want to make sure that that shoots out and squirts Ben. Hey, like you got that. You got me. <laughs> I got the camera too. It's a lot like the Boy Scouts when with pocket knives. Oh yes. Cut For towards sure. your buddy, not yourself. <laughs> so when you're spraying, you spray towards your buddy, not yourself. This thing's gonna run so good. It can't run any worse than it currently does. <laughs> it's true. It's probably been two years since it's run, since this thing's fire, so. Yeah, Uncle Shane and them are crazy for wanting to go fishing tomorrow. Not me, not in that wind. They'll get the deadliest catch is what they'll yeah, get. Yeah, Lake Powell's not fun in the wind. No. I remember several times out there. Yeah. I don't remember the time that a whole family was in Dad's little dinghy boat. That was boat. the worst. That was the worst. And that houseboat drug you got, drug us all across. That was yep. just a little kid, so. All I remember is I was looking out over the boat and you could see the ground down there from the, like the perfect storm going up the wave. 
I'm like, oh man. <laughs> yeah. And then he went back to shore and it's like, no. Nah, the boat it. didn't have enough power to get to the top of the wave. It had, the wind had pushed him back. He said he'd get up and then it'd spin the boat around and shove him back. Finally, a houseboat came along and they all we all got on the houseboat and just hooked the boat behind it. And they drug us over to the marina. Yeah, it was under the captain's part. He was standing there driving. And I could see the water cooler in the back of the boat jump out and go back down in. I'm like, oh, we forgot that. <laughs> It was still there when we got there. Yeah. I don't remember that at all. I wasn't very old, but I remember the stories and the pictures from it. That was enough for me. All right, all the little components. Just about ready to get numbed up. Hey. All right, no leftover parts. I think you got them all, man. All done. All done. Only thing I didn't set was a choke. And we'll, we'll do that. All right, carb is bolted up. I'm gonna go ahead and put the throttle stuff back on. We'll have some whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, throttle's built. We gotta figure a throttle spring out too. That would Let help. me go uh, push the, the pedal. Let's see if we got full travel. Yep. Yeah. That's it? Yeah, that's it. The weight is off the floor. It's off the floor ways. Yeah. Twist it longer. Yeah, give it a longer throw. That was easy. Oh. Well. <laughs> you found it. You knew you had one. I have not found my relay, so there's the one we want. Maybe he needs some glasses, huh, babe? I could borrow you some. <laughs> Let's see where that puts it. That's closer to the floor. Looks better. Looks better. I'll go try to round up a spring okay. for the return spring. Here's our key. That should be our go. Should be that easy. <laughs> but this is the file going in and out, cleaning everything out of there. <laughs> it's the root canal filling. So this thing just melts the root canal filling off down inside the tooth. And we'll pack it down. This is the composite filling going in there, same color as the tooth. All right, so uh, they did a really good job, but I don't want to come back here again. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make a list of stuff. I can lift up and change that pump. Gauges. Socket. Socket. We'll probably have to change oil in it. Oh, it's been two years. It'd be good. Yeah, yeah. what's the filter? It's a Napa 21515. You need a spring for your. Oh, yeah, return spring. <laughs> that should really do it right there. All right, well, that was the funnest thing I've done all day. I'm numb up to my eyeballs right now. Glad that's over with, and uh, I think I'm gonna go wash the truck and head home. That's the last part of that, except for the fuel pump. We'll change the fuel pump out. Watch the rain for us. Yeah, it's no good. That's a high flow fuel pump that was on it. Pump it out just dandy. All right, let's see if it rains down there. Okay. Yeah, it's letting it out. Too fast? No, it's not making a mess. It's nasty though. This pump is for a carbureted, which is probably maybe 12 PSI, maybe. All right, that's all she wrote for that one. We'll just hammer that in right there. All right, I'll tighten them up, hook up the wire, done. And then, we'll have to go get some gas, and then wire that relay. And then we need the filter and oil. That will be good. I'm 
the only thing we don't have is a PCV hooked up. Let me just put a cap on it right now. And then we need oil. We need that filter to start it. So we're waiting. Guess it's time to just sit back and relax. Boss is done. We can do this all day. I made her back from Canab. They didn't have hardly anything that we needed. I got an oil filter and a return spring. Yeah, I'm out. I'm going. Good. Oh, I got to go to baseball practice. Yeah, I'm going to hurt kids. I Good guess. luck with that. All right, we're going to take and run a key power so we can run to that uh, relay out there for our fuel pump. We got to have that. We'll go under the dash. Okay. Just like that. And we'll tie it into that. And then we should have this fuel pump be wired up, make it work right. Okay. Sounds like our favorite person's here. Grandma Lolly. All right, look at you. Not homemade, but home cooked by these hands. <laughs> Showing right up on. the love. You're the best. Even old Scout knows to show up when Grandma's here. Oh yeah, because I usually have a pocket with a treat in it for the dog, so he loves Grandma. All right, here well, you go. You're what welcome. Are you? Nothing. Sure. Fixed by car. Oh yeah. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. We were working, kind of, sort of. The boss is gone. So boss is gone, so we had to go get food. All right. <laughs> See you later. Right. See ya. Putting the oil in it. Putting some lifeblood in it. Jace is going to put some gas in it. Gas mostly in it. Five gallons. We'll see if it's enough. We'll see if it lights the wire. Alright. We got the wiring hooked up to the key now. Now we're going to see if it's got any fuel pressure. Whoa, wrong line. Turn it off. Yep. That's the wrong line. Yep, we got the wrong line. But we have fuel now. Yeah, it was pumping right out that one. <laughs> so, <laughs> gotta, get, gotta get the right line here. What was that saying you guys always say? We do it nice, because we, we do, do it, it twice. twice. <laughs> That's what we're doing. All right. I thought I was gonna make a whole different video than what I did have any gauges. They had what I needed, so I'm not cooking dinner today. I'm gonna stop and get some pizzas. It may have. Hit the door. It may have shot it clear to the door. I'll bet it fires now it can breathe. All right, got the pizza. Headed home. Looks like the mice have been in it. We evicted half a family. We're going to try <laughs> the rest of them outside. That's awesome. Okay, you're uh, cranking. Okay, we just gotta bleed the brakes out. All right, That's I all guess that's left really. Bleed the brakes. Do some final tuning on some. Get Michelle rats. to show up with some freaking gauges. It's up in the seat. I don't know if you guys are aware or not, but it's windy outside. Speak oh, of an angel. Oh yeah, look at that. Look what I found. Hey. Perfect. So you're welcome. Thanks. Hey, you're amazing. How is your dentistry? I can feel my face now. That's good. Well, it runs. Yeah. Yeah. Good. You cleaned your truck out. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, how's your how's your car coming? It's done. We can get it. Hallelujah. She's not driving my truck. I've been nervous. I've chewed my fingernails off today. I thought she was gonna crash it too. I didn't crash the last one. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, Who was driving no. when it got beat up? I was driving on my side of the road oh. when it got beat up. No, you weren't. Actually, you were, you were I was off, off the road. road. 
I was trying to Baja away from the car. So you were baja on it. Well, we're gonna put some gauges in this. Hey, look at that. It's already a hole. Someone's already got some stuff there. We'll just expand its mind a little. You guys, did you know that we got a package from Finland? Really? Well, I heard that it's some of the best chocolate ever. I think that you guys should test it out. What do you I'm think? I'm game. Let's do it. Let's do it. I love chocolate. Do it. Graders is ready. It's gonna have to I always like chocolate. Good. It says that feel free to give some to Matt's off-road recovery if we want to. Come visit Matt. I can't participate in today's taste and tools because I uh, I am currently on a process of elimination diet and uh, chocolate is not part of that. I'll let you know how good it is. So you guys enjoy. I'll give it to you. How's that? So do we want to start out with chocolate or disgusting chocolate. black licorice? Chocolate. Stuff? You don't like one for you, one for you, oh, and, look a, at this. and a all grade. You're in on the taste. Better? Those are the best ones I've ever had. Really? Black yeah. licorice. Okay. We're going with this next. Really? What do you guys think that is? I think that looks like a... Uh, it's a fox. What's that song? The fox? Here. I don't do, 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 think do, do, it's do, do, caramel. Do. I think it's something different. What the fox? No, like, that's what it looks like. Not what I was expecting. Belaja. It tastes kind of like just sugar. It's like it sugar. good. It smells yeah. oil on your hands. There There's not much to it. Chocolate filled mint candies. Ooh. Mary Ann. Oh, Lost. these are like the Christmas ones. Mom oh, yeah, used to. they are. Hey, what do you guys want to yeah, try? Yeah, those are okay. They're, we used to have candies like that when I was a kid. Ooh, this Chocolate. is looking like a whatchamacallit kind of. Well, is it a three musketeer? No. 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 It has peanut butter. Yeah. I'm not a fan of peanut oh, butter. Oh, that smells good. You'd like it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you'd like it. Nah, you'd hate this, Michelle. Here, I'll give you a crumb. <laughs> Those are like banana chocolate things. Can they see what you're doing? He's currently destroying. Mangled this. it. What in the heck happened there? Dad, that's what happened. It tastes like a cutie. It. Moon pie. Don't put that in my nose. <laughs> There's all sorts of flavors of chocolate. What one would you? Okay, which I one already would, which have one dips. Would you pick? I'm keeping this until I can eat it. it this one's good, like. I'm um, assuming strawberries and vanilla. Ooh. You can, you can You're saving that one too, aren't you? I might you? be saving this one too. This one's a you caramel can't chocolate. You that to us. How long do we have to wait? <laughs> you can have some. We're never getting oh, any of it. And caramel oh popcorn. Oh my gosh. Let's open one of these for you guys. Yeah, caramel caramel popcorn. popcorn. This is popcorn, supposed to be popcorn. the best chocolate in all of the world. Yeah, I appreciate, I appreciate it. It tastes it. like chocolate. But is it the best chocolate? It's good. As far as chocolate goes, it tastes a lot like caramel popcorn. popcorn. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Vesa, thank you so much for this. This is awesome. She's gonna hoard it up. Wait till she can eat it. Mm -hmm. This was sent to us from Asia somewhere, and it's flavored Kit Kats, rum raisin flavor, matcha flavored. This one's strawberry flavor Kit Kat. Manju flavor. Break them out. Oh wow, they're green. It doesn't smell bad. No, it smells good. It Randall. actually tastes good. No. Randall. Randall. It Randall. doesn't smell good. Eat it. It actually tastes good, Randall. I have younger taste buds than you. Actually. What does it taste like? Um, it tastes kind of like. Was that a was that like an old leaves? joke? Tastes like leaves, yeah. he says. Let's try Manju. Smells like dirt. Randall, Randall, <laughs> Randall. My, my. It doesn't taste as bad as it smells. <laughs> we'll give it that. There you go. All right. Mountain Dew cleaned the palate out. So, We're ready so for far, the next one. What are you guys Mountain thinking Dew. of th this Asian candy? Well, it's not good. They're really nice for sending this it, but broke. I probably wouldn't go for it. Hey. What? I know what this one smells and tastes exactly like. What? Oh. Nestle Quick? Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what it smells like. Strawberry. Oh, yeah. To end our night off, boys. A little rum. A little raisin, rum raisin flavor. The whole, can I have the whole bottle? <laughs> Here's the whole bottle. His young taste buds ain't liking it? No. It well, tastes like something 
that I hated. I don't know what rum smells like. That. But if you think it's <laughs> disgusting, don't ever try to drink the stuff, Grade. That's it's just what pirates flavor. drink. Or make yep. it. If you want to be a pirate. I'm showing this one. You'll have to cut one leg off and put a patch over your eye. That's probably the best one. Really? Mm-hmm. I knew you were Seriously? a drunk. Seriously? No. <laughs> Did you say I knew you were a drunk? <laughs> <laughs> right on. <laughs> probably because it's raisin flavored. Can you taste raisin in it? Oh, yeah. Can you taste rum in it? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know what rum tastes like, but it tastes cool. You gave him too much. He already can't remember. Uh, anyway, so now, whoever sent this to us, thank you so much. Yep. Not bad. That's really plenty if you want. No, just keep taking it out there. We'll stash it out there. There was some pressure in there. Leaking like a All the power's leaking out of it. Found the problem. There ain't no gas in it. I'm about to have the gauges mounted. Nice. Ew. Wish I had some more stuff in the way here. I got one done. I'm gonna drill it first. I've learned my lesson. You do one at a time. See any problem with that? Think it'll work? Yeah, maybe. We're gonna test it and see if your foot hits it. When you drive it. Oh no. Oh yeah, you'll be able to see it. For some reason, my fingers don't want to work right now. I think I'm in chocolate coma. <laughs> Michelle, you're gonna have to come and screw this in. He's in chocolate coma. <laughs> For reals, he's dropped this thing like 10 times. We're in. You can quit worrying. My chocolate coma's still working on my fingertips here. Maybe it was those rum ones we had. I think I like it. I gotta try to get that plumbed through the firewall and out to Ben. And then we'll be, things will be happening. All right, so the kids just come in. They said they've got a hen that's sitting out here. I'm gonna go help them candle these eggs. Because Randall's a chicken farmer. We'll go give it a check. Okay, let's get in here. Here's mama hen. She's biting me a little. She's trying to protect them. So that one is no good. Yeah, there's no blood veins in it. Yeah, there's an air sac though. Yeah, there is an air sac, but there's no blood veins. So those are, oh, those are not good. See how that one's got a bigger air sac? Yeah. This one would blow up on you and be really nasty. It's no good too. Same thing with that one, no blood veins. No good. Please be at least one. No, I bet not. No good. No good. No good. No good. No good. Well. So what you can do is you could try putting some of these other eggs under her and just keep track of the days. Do 21 days from now and if she don't hatch them out, it means that they're no good. So you could grab some of them ones over there and slide them under her. They've got to have be under there for five days before they be any good. But see, you can just put them right there, and she'll she'll tend them. She'll tuck them under herself and get them to where they're warm and hatch them out. Well, there you have it, people. No good eggs under. We'll give her 21 days and see if they hatch. So. Real live oil pressures. They're really happy. All right, so we got a pile accomplished today on the Bronco, really. I mean, yeah, we did it runs like a top. Gauges are all in it. Basically, all we got to do tomorrow is bleed some brakes, take her for a rip. Yeah. So, but it's like nine o'clock and we've had a day of it. So we're out of here, so until tomorrow. All right, new day in the shop. We're gonna get the brake split up on this thing. We got some PCV valves to deal with. We gotta do, tie this in. We gotta put a breather in this side. Then I think we're test driving, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. so I've had a little uh, shop project going on over here. I got up early this morning. I've been building these. These are going to hold my DOM tubing so that it's not outside getting rusted up. 
they're gonna go on that wall right across there I'll show you when I get it done but it's just a little uh, shop project I got going I gotta cut out a few more pieces but we're working on this now all right we're in the Bronco we're uh, trying to get brakes it's like a it's a solid six pumper probably well that'll be all right so my job is to pump it up and uh, he'll bleed the air out pretty easy process we'll get her done as you can see brake fluid that's how we roll around here it's on the floor it's all bled up we got good pedal we'll throw some sawdust on it and uh, I think we're good to go we're about ready for a test drive all right PCV a little tidying up on some wiring doing burnouts maybe it will I've thought that a couple of times now on some different vehicles and uh, they've uh, proved me wrong. Well, it's a Ford. Why wouldn't it burn out? It's a true story. Or a burnout. That's what I was thinking. Burn down. <laughs> Up. Out. Close to the same thing. Fire and smoke. Fire. That's all you Fire need. Fire and smoke. There we go. Ah, we'll get it. It's going to run good. I have to put it down through the valve cover, huh? What? PCV. Well, or a breather out of that, because that's going to have to have some sort of filter We on never it. found the breather, did we? No. No, we didn't. I think we'll just put it in line right there, like that. To the vacuum, yep. Fresh air goes to the motor. Nice song. Glad you recognized that. That was amazing skill. Hey, I played the trombone. Really? Yep. Tell it bent the slide, and then that was pretty much it. <laughs> My uh, extent in the music industry was seventh grade. I was playing the trumpet, got distracted, and threw a whatchamacallit candy bar across the room and hit a girl in the head with it. That was the end of my music career. I went into woods after that. Now, was that by choice? <laughs> Mutual decision. There you making. go. There you yeah. Go. <laughs> The teacher said I had zero musical ability, and I agreed. I hear you singing once in a while. Oh yeah, I'm good at it. I might have to agree with <laughs> She tidied up. A oh, piece of it, piece of it. Got it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna fire it up and see if it runs. We'll get it warmed up here. Yeah, it'll run. We ain't started it all day. It does, just like it should. All right, I think it's time to go for a test drive and get some rust off the brakes and see how things work. She's uh, moving under her own wheels right now. Brake part. It actually runs pretty good. Pretty good. Does it? Has decent power, it runs okay. 
shifts through all the gears. The shifter's a little sticky and tight. Sometimes you can't get a second. It drives. It's fixed. He'll like it now. Yeah, he'll take it. It'll go. I need your viewers' help. I'm looking for front clip and fenders for a 42 Chevy. It can be like, I think, 41 to 46. But not in the two ton version, or the one and a half ton. I need the truck version with the small window or wheel wells. So if any of you guys have or know where it is, hit me up because we are looking for parts. This truck is getting a blower motor. We're getting some stuff done to it here shortly. So help us out, please. So this thing's about ready to go back to bones. There's only one thing left to do with it that we haven't done. We gotta try to do a burnout in it. Everything that leaves the shop has to try to do a burnout. Some stuff does it, some stuff tries to do it. So we got a little brake work to do on it, but uh, all in all, all that smoke's a success. Yeah, should be good to go. 